Does size really matter? I am holding two real human skulls that are roughly the same age, same preparation style, but two very different sizes. And this answers one of our most commonly asked questions, which is why can't we just study plastic skulls? Plastic skulls are great for understanding the basics of skull anatomy, but once you get down into the morphological differences, that is when you really need a large sample size. And to help you really understand the importance, let's take a look at some differences that can't always be replicated in plastic. First, if we look at the frontal sinus, we can see that on the large skull the opening is of course much bigger but also more complex with more various openings now that difference is not only because the skull is visibly larger we see similar complexities and differences in significantly smaller skulls as well if we also just look at the skulls visually we can see that the one here on the left is much more robust than the one on the right now let's take a look at the roots of the teeth you can see on the larger skull that they barely reach halfway through the mandible where on the smaller skull they almost go all the way down to the bottom cranial thickness is another important factor to keep in mind as the the thickness of the skull, especially for surgical procedures, dictates exactly how long a surgeon has to drill for various procedures. Just look at the size difference between the two skull caps side by side. Here's another sinus cavity, and this one is the maxillary sinus, where also fluids collect, just like in the frontal sinus up here. Now, your sinuses are actually so unique that if CT and MRI imaging is available, they will be used to help identify an individual based on the sinus imaging. Now, all of these differences are incredibly important to know, especially if you're working with live patients, as all all of these little subtle differences can have major impact on how various conditions present. This is why here at the Bone Museum, our collection consists of over 200 individual skulls so that researchers can come and learn from a large sample size. The human skull is more unique than an individual fingerprint. Even in two identical twins, there is more differences than similarities. Oftentimes people come to the museum and they say, it's just a human skull, I can't really see the difference. So we thought we'd make this video to help you visualize the difference between human skulls. Can you see the difference between the skull size? Let us know down in the comments and if you like this video, make sure to follow for more.